Hello, this is Jamie from randomiseuser.com. Today, we're going to look at how to get to Desolation Point in the Long Dark. So, Desolation Point is the fourth major area they've introduced into the game, and it can be accessed from Coastal Highway. To get there, make your way down to the main road from the hills, and then turn left. So, as you walk along, you'll have the water on your right. So Desolation Point is basically the easiest transition you'll do in the game. It just requires you to go through a short area, and then a mine. So you will need to bring a lantern, and possibly a rifle as well, because there are quite a few wolves around. Now you'll want to go and visit Desolation Point, not just to explore, but they've introduced a new mechanism in the game called forging. And at the moment, at time of making this video, um, the only forge in the game is at Desolation Point. So step to it! So the first part of the transition area is fairly straightforward. You just have to wiggle between all this nonsense. Until... Now where do you go? Aha! One of the very, very few uses of Crouch currently in the game. Easy does it. Make sure you're not wearing a wig, because you might knock it off. Now, almost immediately, the coastal highway will take a little turn to the right, past the abandoned Harris home, with the car outside. Now, you've got to be careful here, because this place is kind of littered with wolves. If you take the right-hand turn, and you go down the road, you'll probably meet one. So you might want to take the left-hand route between the rocks. Don't worry, you'll soon join back up at the highway again. Okay, so back on the highway, and you'll reach this. The road collapse! Oh no! Look! Well, just go round it. Um, this bit is not, is not difficult, don't worry. So, coming back onto the road, um, on the other side of the collapse, if you do take a look to the left, um, you'll see, teasingly, there's a bit of a kind of wooden shack up in the air over there. Um, you can't get to it directly, but if you go back onto the road, um, you'll be able to work your way round to it. The road will take you into another collapsed area, but this is the point where you want to turn left and go straight on down here, and you'll get up to that wooden shack we talked about. And here we are. Yes, I'm afraid the wooden shack is not a wooden shack at all, but another abandoned mine. Hooray! And here we are, inside yet another mine. So light your lantern, or use a flare if you're old school, and let's go straight forward, pausing only to grab what you want from the usual places. Hooray! Let's go! So, as before, you'll need to duck so you can squeeze through this little tunnel. And you'll immediately come to a choice, left or right. Or look on the ground and pick up some coal! Hooray! Yeah, you'll want coal if you want to use the forge, so it might be a good idea to pick stuff up as you go along. Coal can be found in any of the mines in the game. Okay, let's take the left-hand route. Very soon, you'll come to the first room. There's my flare on the ground, just ignore it. To the right, there's a blocked exit, don't worry about that. There's a bit of stuff that you might find on the shelves, and even a workbench if you want to craft. But the exit we want is over here. Immediately, you'll come to this. Not much of a choice, because you can't go that way. But again, plenty of coal on the ground for later. Squeeze through this little area, and kind of circle round to the left. Duck. And... Back up again! This tunnel will open out into a slightly larger area. Just go slightly to the right, and you'll be fine. Notice there was a bit of weird stuff to the left? Ignore that. Very quickly, you'll come to another choice. Right or left. If you go left, you'll come to a gate very quickly. So don't bother doing that. Take the right passage. And voila! You'll very quickly come to the exit. Take what you want from the shelves. And then, Desolation Point is yours! Right, here we go. Desolation Point. A quite an easy transition, that one. You shouldn't really have too much trouble with that. Okay, so I'll leave you to explore this yourself. There's lots out there, including a forge, if you want to craft arrowheads to make bows and arrows and things. Hopefully I'll put up a video explaining that separately. So thanks for watching, this has been Jamie from Randomised User. Uh, subscribe if you want more videos like this, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.